What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I have another secret to show you guys. So recently I posted a video on how to get this battle pet named Ball. Now how to get that battle pet was found out by the WoW Secrets Discord community. It was this long process about going around Kul'Turas and Zandalar, clicking all these pebbles, and then going to Frostfire Ridge, and then you were able to get this battle pet. Now that battle pet is actually not directly, as of yet, connected to the Hive Mind mount. A lot of people thought it was, but it turns out the Hive Mind mount is not in the game currently. That was confirmed by Blizzard. But this new secret that I'm about to show you is actually connected to the Ball Battle Pet. So let me actually bring him up here now. You do need to get him before you can do this secret. So if you do not have him, you can go to my video. I will link it in the description and it'll be at the end of the video. You need to get this guy before you can do this secret. Now what is the secret? Well, it's actually a, a transmog piece. So... It's not an achievement, it's not a pet, it's not a mount. I know some people may have tuned out at this point because of that, but it is a transmog piece called The Waste of Time. Um, clever name, but it is a waste that has a clock on it. But regardless, these secret things are fun to do at the end of the day. And then obviously, this secret was found out by the WoW Secrets Discord community. You guys should definitely check them out because I don't know how they're able to find out things like this, but they're able to do it. So anyways, let's get started on how to, well, get this thing exactly. So first off, before we start, there are a total of eight items you need. It's always good to get these out at the beginning before you start, just so you don't have to worry about it like halfway through or whatever. So I have four of the items on me right now. It's these cloth pieces, which can be made by tailors. I believe the recipe for them is just straight from the tailor. So if you have a friend or you have an alt that has tailoring, which is at some certain level, you might want to just go ahead and check if they have these recipes, but you need a wind wool hood, a nether weave tunic, a death silk shoulders, uh, frost woven leggings. So currently as of making this video, obviously these things are going to be marked very high on the auction house. So I mean, you can buy them if you want, but the regions for them is not very expensive because I highly doubt that the price of bolts of wind wool cloth will skyrocket. But who knows? Anyways, you need those four items. Now there's another four items that you need, which you can buy from various vendors around the game. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do that now, one of the vendors is actually sold by a lot of different NPCs. One of the NPCs is actually here in uh, Boralus. It would also, of course, be at Dazar Alor, which is the uh, Horde version of this. But you're going to want to go to whatever your inscription supplier person is, inscription trainer, inscription person that, lets, that sells inscription related things. And you need to buy a rough wooden staff. So that's one of the items. Total, we have five out of the eight items we need to do this. So let's go to find out where the next item is. Okay, now the second one is a sword and it's actually in Nagrand Hala. So you know what that means? Your faction has to be controlling Hala. Uh, we're just now taking Hala, as you see right here, Alliance are Horde just had it. We of course, you know, let the Horde have it so they could get their gray item for the secret. But the NPC is going to spawn right here. I think. Well, I know it spawns right here for Horde. The Horde NPC's name is like Korila or something. It's like a Blood Elf. And Alliance, it is a uh, Draenei, which would make sense because this is Burning Crusade. Any second, I believe the NPC should pop up. But if you forgot or if you're not aware of how Hala works, if your faction's not controlling it, well, you have to kill. There's 15 guards around here. You have to kill them. Uh, I don't think that they scale. It's been forever since I've done Hala, especially since they've introduced scaling. So I think you could just come in here wipe them out and then you have to have more of your faction around this flag than the opposite faction and then once you cap it the npc should spawn you may have to 100 percent cap it which is going to be annoying because it, it takes a good few minutes for it to go all the way from one side to the middle okay so you do have to be a hundred percent controlling hala this npc spawns for both alliance and horde and the weapon you need is proximo's rudius this uh, sword that costs just under two gold. Okay, so here we are for the seventh piece you need. Now, we're in Grizzly Hills, although don't come here just yet because this is the NPC that sells it. Now, if you're Horde, no matter what, he's going to be hostile to you, which kind of sucks. If you're Alliance and you have not quested through Grizzly Hills, then he'll actually be friendly to you. But if you're Alliance like me and I've completely well, completed Grizzly Hills, he will be hostile to you. Well, how do you get the piece you need then? Well, you buy it on the auction house. And currently, I'm lucky because it's only 25 gold on the auction house for me. It's a punctured pelt. You need this. This is the seventh item you need. So I would go ahead and go to an auction house, see how much it is. Hopefully it's not sold for a lot. Okay, now this eighth and final piece you need is actually in Karazhan. It is a formula enchant ring for striking, which isn't 
used anymore for enchanting. So we're gonna head into Karazhan, and I'm actually going to, well, speed up. This is level 70 Karazhan, by the way, so not the uh, Legion version. So I'm actually going to speed up the footage because I don't want this to be like a super long video. So if you want to know how to get to the part uh, slower, you, you can't slow down the video. But yeah, it is actually right before the chess event. I completely forget how many of these bosses I need to kill in here, so I'm going to probably kill them all. So here we go. And uh, here we are. So we're almost at the end. I think chess event is in the next room. And this is the NPC we need to buy from. Yithyar. Who sells. Ench formula. Enchant ring. Striking. That is the eighth piece we need. I think the only bosses I need to kill is Moros. You need to kill Moros to actually do the uh, opera event. And then you of course need to kill opera. And then I think I had to cur kill a curator. And... I believe those are the only bosses you need to kill. So I don't think I really had to kill Midnight. Let's actually check how much this here sells on the auction house for. Okay, 800 gold, so that might be worth your time just buying it from the auction house. Now that we have all eight items, let's go ahead and start clicking uh, every all the items that we need to click, which are across Azeroth, well, across the entire game, really. So we're in Spires of a Rock and Draenor, and we're at... Uh, 35 points 50, 32, and this is a lit orb we need to click. Now remember, you can only click these after you've obtained the ball pet. So make sure you watch a video on how to get this if you have not already. But let's go ahead and click this orb. It's right outside of the uh, Skyreach dungeon. And it should be right there. Lit orb. Something is written here. Passive ice veins. Now, this next thing we have to click is a, a seed. It's a strange red seed, whatever. And it's actually in Stormwind, but don't worry, Horde. It's not really in Stormwind. You can still fly here easily on your flying mount. It's over here where the Everbloom portion of that dungeon is. So it's at, uh, let's see, you can't really see it on my map. It's right here, 17.47, 56.48. And it's like in this corner. Right there. It's a strange seed. Sadness keynoted. Now item number three, we're actually back in Spires of a Rock. 
Let me zoom out here. And this one's at 53.50, 10.70. It's right here. It is a tiny frog. Now, let's see. Where, where is it? It should be on a rock. Oh, here it is. It's actually very tiny. So go ahead and click that. Remember, you have to click all of these things and you have to click them in this order. So this one says dog wig moss. And just to show you, it is right here on the map. Item number four is in Blades Edge Mountains in Outland. Now, if you want to know like a quicker way to get here, I guess if you have the ever shifting mirror, which is probably my favorite toy in the entire game from Spires of Rock, which was where the last one was at. You could just fly up to Gorgrond, use it to find a portal to Blades Edge Mountains and then you're here. So this one is a brittle bone and it's beside one of these crystals. And once again, this is at 33.60, 58.10. And it should be right. Wow, that's a small. How do, how could someone find this? Okay. Anyways, it says Rage, Shank, Sever. Now, this next one, it's just the fifth one. I'm probably going to lose count of these, honestly. Uh, but we're back in Spires of a Rock. This one is a misplaced candle at 68.41. This is where it is on the map. You do not have a coordinate add on. And it should be. Right here, I think. Oh, yep, there it is, misplaced candle. Click this candle, and it says rankest goldfish. The next item, not too far from the last, we are in Shadowmoon Valley, Draenor. And this one's at 45.70, 26. It's at just this neutral flight path right here. And it's a uh, odd cup, I believe. Hello, it's right here. Odd cup. Ease off fruit. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't think so. Sorry. No. Okay. To the next one. The next item is an interesting rock, and that we are in Shadowmoon Valley in Outland now. So just like I mentioned before, you can go uh it's a bit in front of the Alliance Garrison. If you have the Ever Shifting Mirror, there's a portal there. After you use it, obviously, there's a portal there that brings you to Shadowman Valley. So, anyways, we're gonna look for this interesting rock, which is at 51.63, 43.76. I believe it's at yeah, it's at the top. It's up here. Let's see if it's okay. This is not very easy to see, is it? Hmm. And there it is. Interesting rock. So, actually, what I did. It's like right in the middle of all that green fire. I turned my graphic settings down all the way. I just turned all of them down just because, uh, just so I could see this thing. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty difficult to see. Anyways, it says the big bull. The next item is in the Swamp of Sorrows. It is a blooming lily, Swamp of Sorrows, and it's located at 58, 31.65. And... It's right here, Blooming Lily. I guess probably the fastest way here is to go to either Stormwind or Orgrimmar, take the portal to Blasted Lands, and then just fly up to Swamp of Sorrows. Anyways, this one says Jaws Open, Nooks. I'm not really sure what these mean. They sound a bit nonsensical, to be honest. Next item is in Eastern Plaguelands. So we're up here at Eastern Plaguelands. It is a pretty flower. It's at 2478, and we're gonna go in these catacombs right here. Hello, person. And we're going to go to the very bottom of them. Because this is where the uh, pretty flower is. Is this the... Yeah, this is... I guess it's... It's not really deep. Anyways, it's on the right side. On this uh, tomb. Whatever. Pretty flower. And it says... Dead Rune Thug. This next item is called the Old Book. And we're in Deadwind Pass. So Deadwind Pass. Where Karazhan is. And this one's at 4179. It is in this church right here. So it's... Uh, behind Karazan in this abandoned church here and it's on the front row by the front row and here's the old book click that it says a stage deception now this next one is what is it called it is called a dead fish and we're going into black rock mountain this one's located at 68.77 38.77 and uh, it is by the lower black rock spire portal so if you don't remember where that is, it is, well, right here. You can just open your map. So we're going to go into this entrance right here. I like to show it off. So because people probably have not been here in a long time. Lower block rock spire. Hello, person. Also getting this secret. Anyways, right down here. 
there's the portal. We're not going to go in the portal. We're going to go into this room. And then there's this campfire. And then there is this dead fish. Click the dead fish. Necropolis Expos. Now we're in Duskwood for the uh, scratched board item. That's what this one's called. It's at 52.62 in Duskwood right here. And let's just fly down here. It's supposedly right here, actually. I just moused over it. There we go. Click this. Uh, the net saves. Now we are up in, where are we? Hills Brad Foothills. We're in the snowy portion up here. This one is a lost ring at 44.60, 26.34. Or it's right here on the map. We're going to go into this house. And it's uh, right at the entrance of this house. I believe so. It should be... Yep, there it is. You can kind of see a gold ring there. Hello, person. Terrible grunt. That's what it says. The next item we need to click on is a spoiled apple, and we are in the Badlands right here. Nope, that's not the Badlands. It, why is it so hard, difficult to click on this? That is the Burning Steps. This is the Badlands. This is located at 9038. So it's inside of this, uh, looks like an inn. I don't know. Anyways, the spoiled apple is on the table. It's right there. My pet is on it. Spoiled apple. Click that and it says leave nets often. Okay. Now we are in the blasted lands once again at the altar of storms. This one's at 36.78, 27.60. And here's the altar of storms right here. It is beside, over, over on the side, beside one of these skulls. This is a broken tooth, which is right here. Broken tooth. Uh, brash remains. Next up, we are in. Where is this? This is Burning Steps, right? Yep, we're in Burning Steps. And we're going to a worn helmet, which is at 27.10, 47.03. So it's right in front of Black Rock Mountain. And it's right here. The helmet is. There it is. Click that right there. It says Sensed the Figs. Don't know what that means. So now we're at Northrend Dalaran. So this is, as I just mentioned, Northrend Dalaran. And this one's at, it's a leafy leaf, 42.75, 20.18. And it's going to be up here. So only top those coordinates in if you're in Northrend Dalaran. So then it works. And it's behind these, this bench. Um, oh, there it is. Phantasmal hosts. The next item is called a musty cloth and we are in Terracar Forest in Outland and we're by the Auchendoon. Now this one is by the Shadow Labyrinth portal so it's in the south and it is at 40.21 72.49. It is the uh, south entrance or south portal whatever. And this one should be... I keep seeing this priest but it's in this corner. Musty cloth. Scarce odds still. Now we are in Twilight Highlands. The left side of Twilight Highlands beside the Grim Patol entrance. This is a broken tablet at 17.05, 57.86. It's right here on your map. By these uh, broken down fence whatever. And it's right there. Very small. All these things are incredibly small to see. This one says a starfish droplets. Now this next item, which we're we're actually almost done, we're in Fairless. I believe that this is the first time in this secret where we've gone to Kalimdor. So that's interesting. Pretty much everything else is on Eastern Kingdoms. Anyways, this is an Ashed Torch at 60.78, 67.78 in Fairless, as I just said. And this torch is... Uh, what am I doing? Keep going forward. Should be right up here. Um... Oh, it's right here. It's kind of almost looks like it blends into the ground. This is Adapt Tormentor's Fog. Okay, here we are at the not last step, but almost last step. And we are in Arathi Highlands, right up here to the right side of this remote location. That's 8573. And we're going to go into, I believe it's this house. Okay, I don't want any trouble, buddy. We're going to go in here. 
And here's this guy, Grimmy. Oh, my visitors, I have... I... and I have... okay, I don't know how to read. And I haven't a thing to wear. Okay, he's... you can't do anything with him. There should be a note on this table. It says, Grimmy's list of friends. We're gonna read it. List of friends. First is SN. You always smelled so good. Second is TM. You smelled like burning wood. Third is FD. Though you smelled like fell. Last is OM. I hated that fishy smell. So, yeah, there's that. Now that you've read that, this is where these four items come into play. These four cloth items. Okay, this is it's about to be a party in here. Hopefully I don't get attacked when I wear these. You want to wear all of them? Yes. I'm going to bind them all to me. Now that I have all those on, talk, you can talk to Grimmy. He has a dialogue box. It's me, your friend. Got any secrets to tell me about? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. After talking to Grimmy, there will be another note on the table that's readable. Uh, this one. Okay. It's on a different table. This one is a list of enemies. So, let me put this gear back on. It says, you flaunted your virility and red was never to my liking. Though I wanted to slap you, I always found you striking. You always thought you knew what was best, but not everyone likes greens. Though I waved your way, I pictured your shredded hide in my dreams. Question mark, question mark. Your bread was bad. You diseased lout. It made me sick. I would cheerily beat you with a stick. And then question mark, question mark. Last you, I am not even going to think of a rhyme for you. Mugs, I will dance on your grave. You are uniquely terrible. Okay, so now that we've done that, there's going to be four locations we now have to go to which require these four items. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're not very far from the last location. We are at Twilight Highlands and we're going to go up here to the uh, it's 28.40, 24.80 at the Vermilion Redoubt. And there is an NPC here named Aquinstraza, Aquinstra something, you know, it's a it's one of those dragon hybrids right here. Now remember, make sure you have these four items. You need the rough wooden staff, the Proximos Ru Rudeus, the punctured pelt, and then the formula enchanted ring striking. And now we're going to walk up to him and we're going to slap him. And he just did an emote back at me. Okay, next one we are in Desolus here. Dead center Desolus at the Cenarian or the uh, whatever Carnum's Glade. This is 57.40, 47.60. We're going to go to Carnum Marshweaver who's in the center right here. And what do we do? We are going to wave at him. So he will wave back. And that means you're good. Next up, we're almost done. There's uh, two people, this one included. We're going to be at Zoldrak, right here in Northrend. Zoldrak, right there. And th this is Nagra at 40.40, 68.60. And we're going to cheer at Nagra. Where are you at? Right here, it's an orc. Let's cheer at him. And he cheered back. And now finally, the last thing we have to interact with is a mug, so this is going to be interesting to see how this works out. We're in Kunlai Summit in Pandaria at uh, 44.40, 90.20. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go in here. Do I go down or do I go up here? Okay, they both lead into the same place. Okay, this is a stained mug, the innkeeper here, as, as I mentioned right here. It's in the uh, downstairs portion of this part, and we're going to dance with this guy. I honestly thought it was, it was a literal mug. I didn't know it was a named NPC. But there we go. Next up we are, well this is actually the last step pretty much. We're back at Grimy's place, so we're at Arathai Highlands. It's in the um, east portion. What am I looking at right now? Arathai Highlands. East portion, remember it's the same spot. Into his little hut here. And um, he should have a new dialogue for us. So we're going to click that. I have sent some messages to your enemies now about those secrets. So you click that. And then he will say something else to you once you click that. And then there's another note here. It says Grimy's favorite recipe. So if we read that, 
It says a pinch of turmeric and a pound of salt. If it comes out poorly, it's your own fault. Pay attention to the broth and stir, stir, stir. Then add a big handful of boar fur. Last, you need a little sour. Get the kick with a little gunpowder. So there's apparently various uh, rotten fruits around here. Like right beside there's a rotten banana. You don't need that rotten banana. You actually need to get a rotten potato, which is right outside here at this field. Here is the potato. I actually made myself go really small because there was a horde on top of it. But you're going to click this potato. Now you have to, well, it gives you a, a buff called a uh, rotten potato. And you need to have 144 stacks of this. No more, no less. I actually just attempted this and I had 145 stacks, but apparently you can't go over. So get exactly 144 stacks. You gotta keep clicking on it. And there we go, 144 stacks. Remember, no more or no less. So let's, well, I have this uh, marker debuff now. We're gonna go into his place and then we're gonna talk to him again. And it says, how do I smell? Oh my, just like my, bro my mother used to, after she made her famous pie very well, I'll show you my life's work. It's the chest out back and it's all yours. I hope it was worth it. Okay, now we're going out back. Let's head there, right here, this chest. And we have it. A waste of time. This entire thing was a huge waste of time. Am I right? Okay, that was, okay. Well, anyways, cosmetic belt. Anyone can transmog their belt to look like this. This is what it looks, okay, not that. That is what it looks like right there. Neat, cool. So, as I re reiterated at the beginning of this video, you do need the ball companion pet to be able to do this. Uh, I believe he is a prerequisite. That's what was stated. And then you need these eight items. And then you can do this entire thing and get that to belt. And who knows, there might be something after this that might give like a mount or something that requires that belt, which means you also still need to get the companion pet ball. But anyways, guys, a huge shout out and thank you to the WoW Secrets Discord community that found this out. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you thought it was helpful at all to you, you can leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.